most immediate impacts will be on uh, reducing the agricultural uh, yields. Uh, so my, I'm really concerned about farming. While the ice is melting and that will produce sea level rise, uh, again, the most immediate consequences are on climate extremes, like the summer drought that we had in 2018 across Europe. That impacted farming, uh, agricultural losses, wildfires, uh, the wine sector in southern Europe, uh, which is uh, drying more and more. Uh, so these type of climate events, these extremes, are a part of the global warming pattern that is a consequence of too much CO2 in the atmosphere. We've, we've seen that five years in a row, the hottest on record. We often talk about climate change in the future tense, but these studies looking at 2018 and, and the years before show that we really need to change that, don't we? Climate change is absolutely upon us. Yeah, this report outlined that there are an increasing, very costly impact. So this is already costing billions and billions, and, and those, those losses are, are mounting. Um, so this is what we call abrupt climate change, and so it's no longer subtle. Um, this has long been expected. Now we start to see these extremes uh, that, that are in surprising some of us, but we've been expecting this to come. And... Uh, my fear is, and our expectation is that it will get actually quite stronger going forward. Mm, there's another uh, report out, another study uh, in the last 24 hours saying that there's a massive cavity discovered in the Thwaites Glacier, which is in, the, in Antarctica. What does that mean? If, you know, if we're seeing a big whole chunk out of that glacier, what does that mean? Yeah, really the big picture is that global ocean heat content has been more steadily rising than the air temperature record that this NASA NOAA report has featured. So warming oceans are undercutting the Antarctic ice sheet in parts of Greenland, melting it from below. Uh, on Antarctica, there's a retreat in, in where the ice becomes floating, and we're now starting to lose parts of Antarctica in ways that seem to be irreversible. Mm. Uh, before we were speaking to you, we were uh, speaking to our reporter in Brussels with some students protesting for climate uh, action. It seems as though we see these studies week after week and we discuss the topic a lot, but nothing at the policy level seems to change. What do you think uh, needs to be done, concrete actions need to be done in order uh, to make all of this better? I don't even know if we can stop it happening and stop any of the, the effects, but to at least make it better. Do we need to stop using fossil fuels entirely? How radical do we need to be? Well, we can slow down warming by beginning to roll out measures that draw down carbon out of the atmosphere. I'm talking about massive scale reforestation that's using technology that nature has already developed, the tree and the plants and grasses. We need to bring trees and plants back to draw down carbon out of the atmosphere. What that will do is buy us time as, as the climate continues warming. So that's a, a concrete policy recommendation that it doesn't have a strong um, negative impact. In fact, there's lots of benefits uh, from starting to engage in what I call the missing conversation. That's carbon drawdown. Yes, we need to limit carbon emissions. We need to make a transition to carbon neutral energy. And then we, we would still have this problem of too much carbon in the atmosphere. So we need to figure out ways to bring the carbon out of the atmosphere and store it in the in the ground.